Hello. <clears throat> Okay, people are joining. It's good. Hi, we are live because we're about to have our core and mobility session. So if you saw the updates, we have a core and mobility session happening now. Is it on? Welcome, 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 everybody. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. First of all, first of all, guys, I'd like to say Happy Freedom Day to everyone. I know we don't feel as free as we should be, <laughs> but. Um, I think we can still celebrate the essence of this holiday. Um, and I hope you guys tuned in this morning uh, to Rodé's um, functional session. If you didn't, you guys missed out on quite a cool routine. Um, but don't worry, um, you guys, still there's a, still a lot um, in store this whole week. So just keep on watching the Total Sports page and CESA pages as we go through the whole week. Okay, so today um, we're going to be doing, uh, right now we're going to be doing our core and mobility session. Um, a lot of our routines and our schedules have changed quite a lot. Uh, if we're working from home, we're sitting in front of the computer for longer periods of time and we, we're sitting down for longer periods of time, staying sedentary for quite a long time. So I just want to emphasize the importance of um, mobility um, in this time that we're in and also core strengthening okay so that's that is exactly what we're going to be doing today and so i just want you guys to follow me as we go along thank you so much guys for joining i see your comments okay so all you're going to need um, is literally just a mat or something that you can lay on the floor um, and then i have my bottle and my towel just um, for the session all right so we're going to start off with mobility just follow me as I go. Okay, so with mobility, we're going to start on your mat. Okay, so you're going to be kneeling, first of all, on your mat. And I want you to put your hands out in front of you and you're going to go into an all four position, right? So tabletop position, knees underneath my hips wrists underneath my shoulders all right so you're keeping your back nice and straight and i want you to drop your hips backwards you can open up your knees a little bit wider if you need to you're going to drop your hips nicely backwards and you're going to reach your arms forward as you stretch this is your child's pose we're going to hold the stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds okay so each stretch you hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and i want you to imagine just tucking your tailbone in to the ground so heel, bum to heel and just relax there, take deep breaths. All right, and then you're gonna move your arms to the right hand side. Okay, so both arms you're moving to the right hand side and you're gonna feel a nice stretch going down your left. Keep your bum towards your heels.
and then we're going to move now over to the left hand side so both hands moving over to the left hand side and you're going to feel a nice stretch going down your right Okay, and then you're gonna go back to the middle. Let me just quickly check something. It's fine. Okay. Right, so you're gonna go back to the middle. And we're gonna go into a cat cow stretch. So on your all four position, your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath the hips. Make sure that you're not too forward or too backward sitting back. So keep your core nice and strong, right? Back is straight. So you want to imagine that there's a glass of water on your lower back, so basically just there, and you don't want it to fall, okay? So we're going to go into, but that's your tabletop position. So with the cat cow stretch, you're basically just going to tuck your chin in, tuck your tailbone in as you reach to the ceiling, hollow out your stomach, hold for three seconds, and you're going to release. Just a little bit of a arch in your back and lift your chin, and we're going to go again. And all the way in. And out. And all the way in. Keep it tucked in. Keep your abdominals nice and hollow. And out. We're going to do four more. All the way in. And out. Last one. All right, good. So that is just increasing the mobility in your spine from the upper back down to the lower back and you should feel a nice mobile spine going there. So those are very good exercises to increase mobility. Okay, so we carry on. So even with our sedentary life, as we're sitting down for long periods, you want, you're gonna, you're gonna start feeling a lot of um, tension in your hip flexors because you're always in that seated position. You also might feel a little bit of tenderness in your glutes or in your lower back, etc. So these mobility stretches can help. Okay, so you're gonna go kneeling on one leg, one leg in front of you at 90 degrees. You can put your hands on the hips or just hands by your side and you're going to lean forward into that hip. Okay, so keep your back up straight and you're literally just leaning forward you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your right hip. If your left, if your left leg is up, feel a nice stretch in your right hip, and just hold that position. We're gonna hold for 10 to 15 seconds. If you feel like you want a little bit of more stretch, you lift your right arm up towards your ear, and you're gonna to bend to the opposite side. You'll feel it going nicely up into the insertion. Okay, then we're going to change to the other side, so one leg up, so right leg up, other leg up at 90 degrees, lean forward into your hip, and if you want a deeper stretch, you can feel it nicely in the front hip, if you want a deeper stretch, lift your left arm and drop to the other side. Okay, and our last stretch that we're going for here is we're going to go into the groin stretch. So one foot in front of the other. Now you're going to take your, so my left foot is in front. You're going to take your left hand, put it in right next to your foot. And then you're going to open the chest as you feel it in your inner thigh, your groin. Okay, and then we're going to do the other side, right 
leg in front, right hand next to right foot, and you twist over. So the people who didn't see it can go see it. So basically this is your half pose, 15 second hold. You move your hands to the right, you move your hands over to the left. Go back into your awful position and you're going to go into your cat cow. There we go. Right, and then into your hip flexor stretch. You can also add a bend, and then lastly into your rotation stretch. Right. Okay. So those are our stretches that we've done. Okay. So what we're going to do now to go straight into our core and mobility, we basically have three rounds. Okay. So I'm just going to show you now. Round one, round two, and later on round three okay so starting off with round one round one is fairly easy but it's very important okay so we start off with our activation okay so three exercises per round and we're going to do three sets 10 reps for the first round so 10 reps each exercise three sets and we're going to do three rounds okay so the first one as you can see it is pelvic tilts bridges and bridges with a leg extension. Okay, let's hold on. Something. Okay, so let me see if you can see me here. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go on to round one, right? Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so round one is your pelvic tilts, okay? This is also an exercise to increase mobility in your lower back spine, okay? So if you're feeling tenderness in the lower back spine, this is a very good exercise. To activate and increase mobility. Okay, so pelvic tilts on your back, feet on the ground, knees, shoulder, or hip distance apart. Okay, so nice and easy. So when you're on your back, you're in a neutral spine and in a neutral hip, right? So what you want to do is you basically just want to feel, put your hands on your hips, and you want to imprint your lower back into the spine. Okay, so those, that is what a pelvic tilt is, okay? And we're going to go also pair it up with activation. So TA activation is a nice muscle that's called the transversus abdominis. It is basically a deep core stabilizing muscle. And how to activate it is basically just imagining dropping your belly button down towards your spine, okay? So without holding your breath or without tightening all your abdominal muscles, just gently drop your belly button down to your spine and you will feel a nice light imprint in your back. Okay, so we're going to do 10 pelvic tilts. So basically all you do is tilt your pelvis, tuck your tailbone in, hold for 3 seconds, and then release. Right, and let's do that again. Tilt, 1, 2, 3, release. You're going to feel a nice contraction in your core. Okay, feel a nice contraction as you hollow out your stomach. One, two, three, and release. Keep your ribs down, um, resist them from flaring. So no ribs flaring. And you're going to, again, one, two, three, release, good. And again, one, two, three, release. Three more reps. One, two, three, release, good. One, two, three, and 
and then your last one one two and three perfect okay now we're going to go into our bridges just do one more do one more okay so remember that was your pelvic tilt and then you're going to basically this is your neutral spine and your neutral hip you're basically just literally imprinting your back into the mat okay so have everyone got that okay so now we're going to go into our bridges so what i want you to do is when you're going to your bridges your hands are on the mat and as you tilt your pelvis so we're going to go into a pelvic tilt and you're going to lift your hips up off the ground towards the ceiling by squeezing your glutes and pushing your heels into the ground okay keep your upper body nice and still and you're going to slowly come back down again right so this is now a glutes it's we feel it all in your glutes here so push heels into the ground squeeze your glutes as you roll up into your bridge hold and roll down good 10 reps roll up squeeze and roll down right so you don't want to go too high that you start feeding it in your low back so if you are feeding it in your low back you must squeeze your glutes so this is all from the glutes movement is from the glutes as you roll up and down increasing mobility that's fine you should feel each vertebra at a time as you lift squeeze keep your hips nice and stable don't rock in the hips and down three more ten reps okay so these ones you want to do nice and slowly guys because remember this is our activation and mobility as well okay I'm doing my last one so this is number 10 at number 10 I want you to stay at the top so I want you to stay at the top of your bridge and you're going to squeeze your right glute a little bit more as you lift your left leg up into an extension so what you want to see here is that your hips are not rocking down so your left hip must not drop keep it up as you keep your core nice and strong and your glutes nice and strong and then you're going to release that leg back down squeeze your left glutes as you alternate sides Five. Last one and ten. And then roll slowly back down onto the ground. Okay, so I hope everyone got that. And we're going to go straight into our second set of those three exercises, okay? So pelvic tilts, bridges, bridges with a leg extension. If anyone has any questions, just drop your comment or your question down there and I'll be reading. Okay, so let's go back to the top, pelvic tilts. Okay, 10 reps of pelvic tilts. And activate ribs down. Three. All you're doing is imprinting your lower back into the mat and not lifting your hips. Okay. This is your pelvic tilt with TA activation, belly button down to spine. Eight, nine, last one, ten. And we're going to go straight into your bridges. So you start with your pelvic tilt, 
Squeeze the glutes, push your heels into the ground as you lift your hips, segmentally up to the ceiling, squeeze, and segmentally bring it all the way back down again. That's one. Yeah, that's five. Keep the squeeze in your glutes, guys. Keep your ribs down. Keep that activation in your core. These are very good stabilizing exercises for your core muscles. Seven. Eight. Nine. And remember at 10, we stay all the way up. And 10. Okay, squeeze your right glute a little bit more. And you're lifting that left leg up into an extension. Keep your bum up. And you alternate sides. Remember, hips do not rock. Do not rock at the hips. Keep your bum squeeze. Left leg, left glute squeeze tight. And lift. Three, four, keep tight in the abdominals as well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you come slowly back down. Well done. Okay. Okay, so that was our three exercises done. Right. Now we're going to round two. Okay, so we'll do two sets. And then if we have time, we'll go to our third set. Right. Round two. We've got our heel drops, crunches, and leg extensions. Right. So all of these we're going to do in a tabletop position, right? So let me show you what that is. So basically staying on your back, you're going to bring one leg up at 90 degrees and you're going to make the other one follow nice and easy. Okay, so your back should be in a nice comfortable position. Your legs ideally at 90 degrees for me. And if you need support, you can put your legs on a ball or a chair or a table for now for the first one okay so 90 degree legs hands on the ground nice and easy back is comfortable we're going to go into heel drops for the first one so basically dropping your heel down keeping that bend in the knee and bring it back up you're alternating sides okay down and up so what you want to do is as your leg goes down your back is going to want to arch okay so keep your back Nice and flat on the ground as you're going up. So this is nice and controlled, okay? Keep that control, TA activation, ribs down and drop. One, two. We're gonna do 10 reps each side, so that's 20 in total. Four, five. If you wanna make it harder, you can lift into your chest lift. Hands over there or hands over here. Look up at your hips as you're going down. Okay, so this is the advanced version. If you want to make it harder. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do another ten. Ten each side. One. Keep that control. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, the nine, last one, ten. Good. Keep your legs up at tabletop position. Now I'm going to go into crunches. So hands up, and what you want to do is you're going to reach for the top of your knees. Okay. So what you want to look at is looking at the crease of your hips, 
try not to shrug your shoulders and just bring your head forward. Make sure that your upper body, your upper back is lifting off the ground. Okay, so 10 crunches. Ready? And let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. The last one on this round, you bring your knees together. So your thighs together, ankles together. Squeeze so that you're activating your middle thigh, your adductors. And what you're going to do is leg extension. So at that 90 degrees, all you're doing is extending your legs out, straight out, and all the way back in. Okay. So this is the easy version. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can also go into your chest lift and do 10 of those. Okay. So we're counting 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keep your knees together. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good. Well done. Right. So we're going to go back all the way to the top again. If you need a rest, that's perfect. You can also... Hug your knees in and roll from side to side to give yourself a little bit of a rest before we go to round two. Okay. Okay, let's go to round two. Heel drops. One leg up to tabletop position, other leg up. Make sure that your back is nice and flat, comfortable position. And heel drops, one at a time. Nice and slowly, keep your knee, ankle, and hips in the same bend. Right, so you're not just bending at the heel, right? You are going all the way down there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, now we're going for crunches. Hands up, touching the top of your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Now the last one, knees together, ankles together, thighs together, keep that squeeze. Remember if you want to make it harder, you could go up in your chest lift, look at your hips, otherwise you just stay down and you're extending the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep your knees together, nine, back is flat, and ten, good. And come all the way back down if you need a break again. Hug your knees into your chest and roll very slightly from side to side. Okay, well done. Okay, guys, we have one more round to go. And that is our round three. Okay, this is what round three looks like. Side plank with a needle thread. Plank reaches and slow mountain climbers. Okay. Right. Okay, so with this one, you are welcome to use your bottle if need be. Okay. So, side plank series, starting first on your side. Okay, so modified version, you could either Stay, um, stay with your knees bent. Okay. Sorry, we're having technical problems. Okay, so side plank series. You could either stay with your knees bent. Or you can straighten the knees, straighten the legs, and you're going to lift at your hip. Okay, 
So, knees bent, knees, my heels are in line with my bum, elbow is straight underneath my shoulder, my hand is nice and flat. Okay, so this is what the side plank looks like. You can either have your hand on your hip or lifting it up to the ceiling. Having it lifting up to the ceiling makes it a little bit harder. Having your hand on your hip. So basically just lifting the hip off the ground. Okay, so that is your side plank series. Needle thread, basically, you're touching your side oblique and you're lifting up. One. Right, harder one, legs straight, one, one leg, one foot on top of the other, or you can just line them one in front of the other. Okay, and you're going to lift the hip, so that is your side plank, and you're going to needle and thread. Okay, so let's do that together. We're doing one minute. Okay, so 30 seconds each side. Okay, so if you have a cell phone, but I will time for you guys. If you have a cell phone or a watch, that will be perfect. When 30 seconds is up, we're going to switch to the other side. Okay, so get ready. Three, two, one. Lift and needle thread. Your eyes are following your hands at all times. Remember, try not to sink in that shoulder. And you're lifting at your hips. Okay, so your shoulder joint isn't the one that's keeping you up. We are working our obliques. If you want, you can use your bottle as extra weight. So you can just use your bottle, put it in your hand as an extra weight. Okay, and that's 30 seconds over. Switch to the other side. Okay, get yourself in a position. Ready, three, two, one, lift. I'm up. Okay, remember you're not dipping at your hips, so you're not rotating with the whole body. Keep your body nice and straight. The only thing that's moving is your eyes and your hand. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Perfect, good. Okay, now the second one is our plank reach. So in a nice plank position, Elbows underneath my shoulders, legs out, and all I'm doing, I have my bottle in front of me, okay? So all I'm doing here is reaching out. If you don't have a bottle, that's fine. All you do is reach, okay? So plank position, reach, touch. Okay, we're doing that for one minute. Try not to twist your hips, guys. Remember, the twisting of the hips, try and minimize the twisting of the hips. Okay, ready? One minute, three, two, one, and let's go. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done, good. Right. Then the last one is our slow mountain timers. Okay. On your hands, so remember wrists underneath your shoulders, legs out, and we're going to go to slow mountain timers. So very slow, you hold for two seconds, and then you swap sides. Okay, so instead of Running into your mountain tiger, we're doing it very nice and slowly, okay? An advanced version, if you want to do it a little bit harder, you're more than welcome to go in, up with the knee, down, and down. In, up, down, down, okay? Otherwise, we're just walking, two second hold in and out. One minute, okay? 
Get ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. Well done. Okay. So round three is the hardest, obviously. Right, so we're gonna do one more set. Okay, so side needle plank, side needle thread. Okay, so remember, either your knees are bent, lifting at the hips, 30 seconds each side. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. And we'll swap over to the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Lift. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Perfect. We're going to go straight into our plank reaches. One minute plank reach. All right, get ready. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. If you want to, you can drop your knees for the modified version. Modified plank and reach. Keep your feet off the ground. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. And into the last one, guys. Slow mountain climbers. Hands underneath your shoulders, wrists underneath your shoulders, and nice and slow. Two seconds per hold. Ready? Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Remember the harder version is going in and up. So in. Okay, keep going. Last five seconds. And one. Relax. Well done. Whew. Okay. That is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Remember to continue looking out at the Total Sports and the sports science pages for what we have in store for you for the rest of the week. There's a lot that you can do. And I hope you guys join. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.